Hello guys, this is uh, the T-Ski now, but I'm going to rename myself to Juicy Nuts, and I am now playing Darkscape. As you can see, Darkscape is on the RuneScape 3, you've got Dead Man coming out next month in October. I'm not too sure the actual release date, but you are going to find that if you play Darkscape, it will take your time up, because it, it, you can play in Legacy mode, so it's just like the old RuneScape. Obviously, you don't hit like 1 to 99, you hit 100 to 999, or over that if you Saradom improve, or whatever you can do in this game. There's a lot of stuff you can learn, and I actually believe uh, I might stay to this, or I might actually move to RuneScape 3 because I'm quite enjoying it. I just picked up an air battle star from the floor, and that's really benefited me. But we're going to get back to the point of this actual video. Um, I want to show you guys a little insight of I think there's already loads of other videos made, but there's an easy way of getting round and getting all your lodestones, which is a free teleport. You can't wear any items when you want to teleport but you can get everywhere. So let's say, I'm in Draenor already, so if you go on your world map, say, um, the lodestone is over here, so sometimes you are going to have to run over to the lodestones when you come to the spawn area. Some spawn areas you will spawn right in front of the lodestone. Um, so now, I want to go to Lumbridge, say, I've already got the Draenor one, I've already got the Lumbridge one, but I'm going to show you how you do it. So then you, you just want to attack a guard. Make sure you have got nothing whatsoever on you. Um, and he don't want to kill me, but he should normally kill me. Come on. Kill me, motherfucker. Alright, well what I'm going to have to do is go and punch someone up. So you can just go and hit someone. Um, if you do hit someone, you will get s smited at straight away by these guards. So you want to watch out for people that are smiting people. And then... No, sorry, you want to watch out for people that are attacking people by banks. And then getting killed by guards. Because if they don't drop their spawn straight away, if they have got an item they can lose, they will lose it. Like, that that's the end of that. So, like, for back, getting back to what we're doing, I've just died and I've come straight to Lumbridge. There's the Lumbridge Lodestone. So, therefore, you can literally straight away activate it. You've then got that permanently forever. You've, like, you can see I've unlocked all of these and I've not had to put no running effort in, to be honest. So, now I've got the Lumbridge one. You can then go again to game settings. And you can change it to say, oh, I want to go to Varrock. So then you go to Varrock, you then just want to go up to a guard, bank guard, and you want to suicide, and he, he's going to hit me, hopefully. No? You don't want to hit me? Okay, no, they don't want to hit me. So you find someone near your level. Um, just, just, I'm going to tempt some fate as well, actually, while I'm doing this. I'm going to get my uh, training sword out, and I'm going to start hitting someone. Um, because this way, if I go look, like here, say, for example, and you start whacking. Oh, too low, too low. Say like this guy, for example. No, what level am I in? I don't even know. Uh, so 42. Can I attack a 42? No, oh, I already tried him. 54, say. So I'm just gonna go running. Oh, come on. Where, where is someone that can hit? So 59, for example. No, the difference is two. This, two that, two this, two that. Okay, so I'm just gonna go and fucking whack this guy. He's gonna kill me. You see my prayer straight away in two hits, gone. Bam, bam, bam. But now I've died, I'm going to head over to Varrock. So as you can see, I'm now in Varrock. Um, the lodestone is straight down this way. So you just want to head south out of Varrock when you, when you get there. And as you come out of Varrock, you can see on the map, they're very, very easy to find. Very fucking easy. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, it's the most, the, the best thing you can actually do. Um... But anyway, so like this guy's just died, he's dropped, gardening boots, charms and everything. I'm going to go and take that shit from this guy. Thank you. So I've got some gardening boots, I don't know what these do, a pair of gardening boots. <laughs> Boom, fucking ball shit. So yeah, now I've got the Varrock Lodestone. So now what you want to do is, um, you always keep your training sword, yeah, so I can die, that's fine. Um, you want to change your death settings again. You want to go to Edville this time, say. So then you want to attack a guard. Oh, one bang. Did I? Yeah, I'll lose a bit of bit pieces and that, I don't care. I've got my training sword still on, and I've got my stuff. But now I'm at Edgeville, so then you want to run over, and that is now northwest over this way. You'll find the lodestone. You can activate it. Now the only one I'm going to show you now is the one that gets a bit tricky. Is you see here it says Alcarid. So you want to go to Lumbridge. 
and then you want to run over to Alcarid and activate that lodestone. And then from Alcarid, you can dive to the guards, and you can go to all of these and get all of these lodestones. The only ones you don't really want to bother with are these two at the most, like this point of the game, because you do not want to end up in Damio or whatever that is called, or the Mage Bank Arena. Um, simply because once you are there, you can teleport if you're out of the wilderness, but you are kind of stuck there. If you've got, you know, like items, you can put them in the bank, think you can get them out in the low area respawn, you can't. So, that's that's basically the starting basics of getting getting around. You want to be able to get around everywhere, because if you can't get around, then you're stuck in one place and you're going to be bored. So, we'll we'll end, end, end this video here, and I'm going to be making some more guides, because there's like some uh, god statue people that are around. There's there's a lot, a lot to learn on Darkscape, and I think I'm just going to give a little bit of a guide to some people that are new to starting it, because this is an amazing like game mode that they've actually introduced to it so thanks for watching guys if this video has helped you I'd appreciate the rate comments and subscribes um, and hit the like button most of all but um, yeah I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon